defending double-A state champs look to stay atop the class again. A couple of big-name players graduated last season, including all-state quarterback Gage Michael. But an experienced quarterback is ready to take on the role in senior Dom Stingo. Well, we're never going to try to find another Gage Michael. We know that's going to be hard to come by, just like it was hard to replace Connor Neal. So uh, Dom Stingo is going to be the guy under center, and he's going to be the best Dom Stingo we, we have. This isn't Stingo's first rodeo. He's a four-year player and took multiple varsity snaps in the past. The only difference is now he's the starter. He's a good passer in the pocket. Uh, he likes to throw on the run, uh, and he's, he's athletic enough to go get yards when he needs to. Just like the past, the Polar Bear skill players are locked and loaded. Uh, we got a loaded backfield with Dylan Hours, uh, Jermaine Lewis, uh, Landon Tasker will be back there, and then out wide, we return Casey Neely, Jaden Sariza, and Evan Dennison. And uh, those three will be getting the ball in, in a variation of ways as well. I think we're overall just very quick, skilled team. We could do it all, honestly. The experience the O-line does return is huge. D1 football commit Eric Smith returns as well as Darius Hubbard and Noah Clifton. Younger players will fill the other spots, and that's been tough competition. Uh, that's been our most heated uh, position battles of the summer. And uh, they're, they're doing well. Yeah, we're always making sure we're helping each other out, pushing each other to get better. Like me, Darius, all of us. The Polar Bears aren't shying away from a challenge this year. Their strength of schedule is difficult, including four consecutive games on the road, including Bridgeport and Spring Valley. But Fairmont is taking it week by week. We're just going to do what we usually do, play Polar Bear football. Just that. We're going to try to take advantage of what we're good at and what the defense has given us and just try to stay ahead of the sticks. Uh, we're going to mix in some tempo. Sometimes it'll be no huddle. Sometimes it'll be a little slower paced and, and just see what's working for us that week. Week one, the Polar Bears travel to Lewis County.